Is video editing taking up a lot of your time? Definitely video editing is time consuming whether you are creating travel videos, explainer videos or tutorials. As a video editor you have to do a lot of things such as creating motion graphics, effects and transitions. But we have some cool options to edit faster and more easily. So in this Premiere Pro tutorial I'm gonna explain how you can edit videos like a pro. Now we are inside Premiere Pro and we have some clips and screen recordings on the timeline. So here I have already completed the first step of video editing which includes streaming and rearranging the footage. These steps are not covered in this tutorial assuming you are already familiar with them. Now let's move on the second step. In this step the first thing we are gonna do is play the sequence. Today, I am going to show you how you can combine masking and speed ramping to create an amazing transition. Blending these two features mask Well, it looks good but uh, this area of the timeline is empty. We can cover it by adding motion graphics and title animations, something that most professional video editors do. However, it is important to note that making motion graphics and title animation can be time consuming. Fortunately, there are options available to make it easier and faster by utilizing plugins. On popular plugin for Premiere Pro, after Effects, DaVinci, and Final Cut Pro is Titles Pro from Easy Edit. It is designed to help you more in less time. With over 1500 templates, including titles, lower thirds, cell, ready scenes, color, cinematic, backgrounds, and more, Titles Pro is a widely used plugin. If you are a video editor or freelancer seeking a great deal, I recommend trying Titles Pro and other plugins from Easy Edit. You can find the links in the description. Let's take a look at the installation process of Titles Pro. However, if you would like to skip this part, you can move on to the next chapter. First, we need to download Easy Edit Viewer. After downloading, extract the file and double click on it to initiate the installation. The installation process usually follows some standard steps. Once the installation is complete, you can find Easy Edit Viewer by navigating Window, then Extension, and finally selecting Easy Edit Viewer. Now to install Titles Pro, open the Titles Pro downloading folder. The downloading link can be found in the description. Then open Premiere Pro folder and drag the installation file into the Easy Edit Viewer. Finally complete the remaining steps by entering your video hive email and copying and pasting the purchase code. Next you need to enable Essential Graphics by going to the window menu. This will allow us to dock the Easy Edit Viewer tab for a more efficient editing layout. Now we can utilize title animation to fill the empty space. Titles Pro offer a wide range of pre-made titles to choose from. On the left side, the categories are neatly organized for your convenience. Let's start by selecting a title from fashion folder. By clicking on it, you can explore all the titles available within that category. Clicking on the down arrow icon will expand the options to preview the titles on the big screen when you hover your mouse cursor over them. Once you have selected the desired title, simply click on it once to input it into the timeline at the current time indicator position. Now you can see that our title is visible on the timeline and we can drag it slightly to the left next to the previous video. This is the preview of the title animation. Now let's take a few seconds to customize it. First make sure that the title is selected and then navigate to the essentials graphics panel. In the panel you find all the composition settings. Let's expand the text configuration. I would like to replace the world we mean in the text one with today to synchronize the animation with the audio. You'll notice the changes taking effect. Now let's type I'm gonna show in the text 2 box. As for text 3, let's type the word you. This time we can change the font. I would like to choose one of the best fonts Roboto for both text 2 and text 3. I select the same font and the font style will be set to light. We also have options to choose small caps, all caps, italics and more. For this title animation, I want to maintain the same design for all the text elements. You may notice that gap between the lines is a bit high. Let's adjust it by going to the main composition. There is a slider that scales the overall composition. But I especially need to adjust the position of the text one. Here the X value changes the horizontal position and the Y value adjusts the vertical position. To modify the line spacing, we need to change the Y value of the position for both text one and text three. 
You can also change the line width if you want. Additionally, in the color configuration, you have the options to change the color of the line and the text. Let's review our final animation. If necessary, you can adjust the duration of the animation. Today, I'm gonna show you how can combine masking and speed ramping to create an amazing track. As we have already witnessed, creating animations with Titles Pro is a straightforward process. Simply input the elements and make necessary adjustments to customize them according to your preferences. Creating this type of title animation manually can be extremely time consuming. Ok, let's move on to the next step, mix and match. In this step, I'll apply mix and match in this area. First, we can preview the blank area to make decisions about the motion graphics. I'll show you how can combine masking and speed ramping to create an amazing transition. Blending these two features mix and match means I combine any suitable animated title with any suitable animated background. So let's try the background first. Here are the light backgrounds. We can also check the dark category. We have the light backgrounds there as well. So I'm casually browsing to find the perfect background. I'm gonna use this one, just click on the eye icon to see it bigger. This background with animated transition seems good to me. Now simply click on input to place it on the timeline. Well now we can observe the background and position it exactly where it should be placed. In the second part of this step we basically choose the animated title. So let's browse the folder to find something best suited for the selected background. This one looks simple and might be a good choice for the words masking and speed ramping. Click on it to add it to the timeline. Now I'm gonna make a couple of changes to it. First select it and go to the essentials graphics tab. Choose the text configuration and type masking and speed ramping according to the voiceover of the video. Ok now click on all caps to change the text to uppercase. You can also have options to change the text color from the color options. Now we can place the text while the background opening animation or transition is almost finished. Here is an important note for you. You can also change the background animation style from the background configuration. Adjusting the duration of the text is also necessary to align it with the next footage. I'm gonna show you how can combine masking and speed ramping to create an amazing transition. Well, everything seems like I wanted it to see. Now we can finish by adjusting the background duration. This way we won't miss the ending animation. Let's extend it once and then move the time indicator where the animation starts. Use the razor tool by hitting the C key on the keyboard and make the first cut on the background layer. Make the second cut like this one. Now press the V key to switch back to the selection tool and delete this portion of the background. Finally drag this animation part to the left. Making these simple changes is enough to achieve the mix and match animation that we want. It's a good idea to hit the enter key on the keyboard to pre-render the animation for a smooth playback. Today, I'm gonna show you how can combine masking and speed ramping to create an amazing transition. Let's move on to the next step and preview the sequence. Then, let's jump into our video. Here you can see a blank area or an empty space on the timeline, except for a single frame. We can transform this dull area into the something more interesting. To do that, we can apply ready scenes. Click on the ready scenes options and find the perfect one. Ready scenes are pre-made combinations of titles and backgrounds. So there is no need to mix and match like in the previous step. I believe this one is perfect for my voiceover as it mentions Adobe Premiere Pro. And the background color is similar to the Premiere Pro logo. Now it needs to be added to the timeline. Ok, now that our animation is selected. Now we can proceed to the essential graphics panel. First, select the text configuration. You can move the time indicator to get an overview of the animation, which is important for adjusting the settings. Now select text 1.1 and type Adobe. In the typing field of text 1.2 and 1.3, type Premiere and Pro respectively. Next for text 2. In my case, I'm gonna type Flim by Arif. Text 3 might be perfect for the word tutorials as it has a link to Flim by Arif. Text 4 should be 2023. And finally, I wanna leave text 5 blank. 
now you can go to the composition settings to adjust the overall resolution of the ready scenes I will change the scale of text 1 and text 2 by accessing the main configuration. You can easily change the color of the text and the background from the color options. For example, I will change the color of the text 1.3 which is pro. Click on the color box or bar and choose the desired color. In my case, I pick an orange color. Then let's jump into Adobe Pro. Now complete the rest of the work by adjusting the duration and the position of the ready scenes. So are you interested in learning more about this transition? Then let's jump into Adobe Prima Pro. Now we are at the final and the last stage of the tutorial on making a video like a pro. Simply hold down the alt key on the keyboard and drag this video down to create a duplicate. In this voiceover, I wanna highlight an important note on the screen, which is the alt key, as many video editors often do. Holding down the alt key is crucial for duplicate the footage and performing other tasks. After positioning the time indicator, go to the Easy Edit Viewer and search for the text you wanna add. The lower third category might be a perfect choice. Select the one you wanna add. In my case, I wanna add this one. Place it in the appropriate position according to the voiceover. Make sure the text layer is selected then go to the configuration options. Expand the text configuration and replace the text with alter and key words. After that you can remove text 3. Now you may notice that the scale of the position of the alter and keywords are not the same, making it look odd. You can adjust the size of the text 2 which is key to match with the text 1. Let's change it to 90. Ok, our next step is changing the position of text 2. Expand the main configuration, go to the position of text 2 and change its Y value to 33.3 .3, which represents the vertical value following the Y value of text 1. Now it's time to adjust the box size. Change the X and Y values of the box size according to your needs. If necessary, change the position of the box as well. Now go to the effect controls and adjust the scale and position of the animated text layer to place it where it suits your video, which you will delete after drawing the mask. Simply hold down the alt key on the keyboard and drag this video down to create a duplicate. That's all for today's tutorial on making your videos faster like a pro. I hope you understand how easy it is to use Titles Pro for creating videos quickly. So you can try Titles Pro and other plugins for easy edit at the reasonable price. See you in the next one.